Hello, this is Professor Stephen Nesheba, and I'm here to help you out with the uh, setting up a histogram. And uh, if you uh, watched the last video, then uh, you will have seen that we've uh, looked at all these temperatures and uh, found out that the, uh, the maximum value is this, the minimum value is this, and we've laid out a series of, of temperatures like this. So the, uh, the next thing that um, I want to do is, is uh, show you how to set up a histogram. Now it may be that you don't have the, um, you don't have the tool pack uh, already installed, so if you don't, then you go to Tools here in these Excel add-ins, and hopefully something like this will show up, and, um, and then you can just add it in that way, and uh, it might be a different procedure if you're on VDesk. But uh, once you're there, now we can go to um, we can go to uh, data analysis, and uh, the idea is that uh, we are going to want to do a histogram. You might have to hunt around for it, and so there's the histogram, and uh, the histogram, uh, the uh, the uh, the data that we want is uh, is this uh, set of. Um, set of temperatures there and the bin range here is the thing that I've just uh, laid out here which is from here to here and uh, we're going to want to chart the output so I'm going to click on that and, uh, and I'm going to say OK and uh, hopefully it's going to come up with a histogram just like that. Now it comes up in a separate sheet here but um, that's the basic idea here if you want to make it bigger and of course what this is telling us is that the most uh, maximum temperature is um, minus 55 and we kind of have this long tail um, into uh, warmer temperatures and and so on and uh, that's how you set up a histogram on Excel.